on your cell phone, no matter how beautiful your green is, nobody else is going to want to hear about it. And please, no photography here to show. To take notice of safe, the slippery are very crafty. The proper translation should be slippery slopes ahead. And what does this one mean? Believe it or not, chief financial officer, likely the result of a bad computer translation program. Surprisingly, <laughs> this sign does not have anything to do with a uh, sale. I mean, who wouldn't be thrilled to walk into, say, Barney's and find a sign reading, fuck the certain price of goods. <laughs> it should read, dry goods pricing department, unfortunately. You see, when the communist government came to power, Chairman Mao ordered that the centuries old system of writing Chinese characters, beautiful, arcane, devilishly complicated, be simplified for the masses, or as you and I would call them, consumers. In so doing, the ideographs for dry and to do were merged. And to do is slang for, well, to do someone. <laughs> Once you know that, it all makes sense. <laughs> Thank you to the Commerce League of Ohio for inviting me to talk about doing business in China. The greatest pool of untapped consumers history has ever known. People ask me, how did I manage to get a foothold here? Well, the truth is, when I started out, I knew nothing more about China than the difference between Mushu pork and General So's chicken. <laughs> the first rule of doing business in China is also the last. Assuming you are an American. Because if, if you are American, it's also safe to assume that you do not speak a single fucking foreign language. So if you take away nothing else from our talk today, remember this. Write it down. When doing business in China, always bring your own translator. I run a small family firm. Have you seen our website? Impressive. <sighs> On my, I sent you our proposal. It's a fine my proposal. Assist oh, thank you. So can we talk about a deal here? I can arrange a meeting for you with Tsai Guoliang, the Minister of Culture here at Guiyang City. Great. But I have to make sure you're prepared. I suppose you've heard of Guan Xi. Uh, bring me up to speed. Relationship. You see, business here in China are based on relationships. Uh, this is the part about taking them out, you know, whining and dining. Whining and dining is just the first part. For years, the Western economists have held a, a fair and consistent legal system with predictable outcomes. It's necessary for solid economic. You have to know the rules of the game. Precisely. But here in China, the legal system is a joke. Nobody expects justice. Yet the economy has held steady growth for the past decade that the West can only dream about. With no justice system. But what we do have are predictable outcomes. Ah. People here know roughly what to expect. And the trick? is to understand that all these outcomes happen outside of the formal system. Through Guanxi. Guanxi. So... Otherwise, we'll leave with a barely signed contract. Uh, contracts mean nothing here. Because... Contracts are shit. Because the legal system... Means nothing here. And the only thing that matters is... Relationships. Guanxi. Guanxi. Got it. So, I should, uh, think about staying here for, um, more than a week. Make it eight, Mr. Kong. Oh, Daniel. Eight weeks? For first visit, yes, Daniel. <sighs> My family's gonna kill me. <laughs> what am I eating here? Oh, that's sour fish soup. Spicy. Guizhou people pride themselves with the peppers over here. Oh, can I get a cold uh, soda or something? Yeah, sure. Um, I I get get this. This. Oh, you speak Chinese? Passively. Oh, of course you speak. Actually, very good. 
I thought you were born in the States. Yeah, I was born and raised in the States, but I've been in China for five years. You see, when I'm talking with a Westerner, I always forget to uh, boast about myself a little bit. Uh, and <laughs> when you're with the, the, the Chinese, you have to be all humble. Criticize yourself. <laughs> and make sure there's someone in the room who contradicts you, ideally at a great length. So, when I first arrived in China five years ago to teach English at Nanjing University, there was this woman who told me, oh, your students can expect you to be this rich and successful American. You just have to play up the image. Chinese people love the big gamblers. Win or lose, it doesn't even matter. They just want to see you as a high roller. And then they respect you. A high roller? So when I first walked into the classroom, met with my student body, I, I reeled off my achievements, made myself sound very grand, and then, my sponsor took me aside and explained, anyone who's really great doesn't need to say so. And that made sense to me. So I started learning Chinese philosophy, reading about Chinese calligraphy, pork dances, fork dances and, and um, porcelains and all of that, um, and eventually founded my consultancy firm. So in these meetings, if I'm humble, you're going to be there to contradict me. Should you choose to engage my services? Yes. Um, yeah, you work on commission, right? Yes, I can. Because I your website it, suggests I some that flexibility. Your flexibility for speculative venture. Well, I'm taking a chance on you. Right. Too. So my usual. So we can dispense with any upfront retainer fee. I. Um, I can deal with that kind of arrangement. Yeah. Well, I have a board. My usual. My brother and the other is fifteen percent of her deal. Fifteen percent. Yes. Isn't it normally ten? Yes, well... I think I can get my board to support 10. But without an upfront retainer fee, my back ends need to be a little bit... Um, yeah. all right, 12. Really? Uh, okay. 12. <laughs> um, uh, and if the others, you know, have anything to say about it, well, I'll tell them you've been helping businesses... Five here. years. Well, five years, impressive. And my brother complains, well, he doesn't have a clue what goes on over here, does he? With all due respect, he doesn't. <laughs> Eight weeks. Uh, okay. Let's roll the dice. Be one of those high rollers. We have a deal here. I want you to give me some of that guan chi. We're a small family firm. Started by my great grandfather in 1925. Chicago! Uh, Chicago, no, no, we're based in. Uh, you're based in Cleveland. You've done business in. Chicago! Chicago! Chicago!是家哥有他租赁的招牌,但他个人来自不出名的小村庄。哎,我老家也是小村庄嘛。Minister's <笑> 卡凡诺先生是来自克里夫兰，不是大城市，但也是美国重要的制造中心。谢谢副局长。或者说曾经重要过，在美国还有制造业的年代。Oh, uh, we used to be a factory town, but we now we're all that out. Just... Oh, oh. And anyways, um, Ohio Signage has acquired a reputation for producing quality work. Have you seen our website? 您看过他们的网站吗？ 啊,很不錯,你likes我的website。他的家族啊,把俄亥俄州招牌設計公司打造成了美國最卓越的一批企業之一。芝加哥,我去過芝加哥。The <笑> minister has visited Chicago. We're back to Ah, oh, who doesn't love Chicago? 啊,他同意你的說法。Ah, uh, you'll have to let me show you around sometime. 下次由他做東。
。哎，我在芝加哥的时候啊，最喜欢吃牛排。He enjoys to consume your American beef cows. My. <笑> ah, Smith and Walensky. Smith and Walensky. It's a steakhouse. You've never been. Oh.、Uh, this place is like my second home. Oh, I see. 他是说啊。Smith and Walensky. Ah, 一家牛排店，他有的时候啊住在那边。不不不，他他他不住在那里，那是芝加哥最顶级的牛排店。他说啊，下次想请您去尝尝。啊，谢谢。抱歉，我的英语不好。啊，没有，很好。啊，你的中文、啊？哪里哪里？哎，他说的对，你的中文啊，说的比我儿子都要好。<笑>谢谢局长夸奖。那这彼得啊，就是个好老师。第一次见面我就想啊。他能叫狗都学会说英文。谢谢谢谢。They're talking about my Chinese. Ah, your Chinese is amazing, right? 看，连无知的老外都知道哎。哎，彼得的中文说的真是好极了。Not like my English. 彼得中国话的程度，我们都达成共识了。现在可以继续谈计划书了吗？呃 ，Vice Minister C agrees on the quality of Peter's Chinese, and we also love to discuss the proposal. Great. Well, well, you know, we can get started. 很不错啊，就是价格嘛，相对于本地的标准啊，比较贵。He likes your proposal, but I'm so expensive. 但是，我还是愿意尽量考虑聘用你的公司。Despite so expensive, he will still consider your proposal. Thank you. Uh, so here's why we're worth the money. 他会解释他们花钱为什么那么大手大脚。<笑>他的专长将如何帮助贵阳发展？像他说的。哦 ，OK， 嗯、um, ，Mr. Tai， you are building a world class cultural center。全世界都知道，贵阳经济将要腾飞，他们都在关注着那个即将揭幕的艺术中心的开幕。OK， you've hired a German architect. You'll be using Brazilian wood, Italian marble, a state of the art sound system designed by Japanese engineers. But what about the science? Are they going to match up to the? 你们引进的这些德国建筑师、巴西的木材、意大利的大理石、日本的音响，这些都是全世界一流的。Yes, and anyway, but the science are they going to live up to the standard? Take for example. 就，但是对于馆内的指示牌，我们应该汲取其他省市的教训。就比如说，喂。哎呀，中国人民解放军怎么了？啊，是他们战斗力确实很强嘛，但说到搞音乐，觉得完全不行啊！哎、啊、哎，不，呃、um, ，Yes， we were talking about these other cities， for instance， Shanghai。比如说上海、uh, ，The Pudong Grand Theater， 浦东大剧院。At the opening， all the foreign business people and officials， did they notice the wood or the fixtures？ No, they were busy laughing. 他说啊，开幕的那天，在场的外国人都在笑。At the signs because the translations were so bad. 因为馆内指示牌的翻译实在不够完美。Restrooms for the handicap. Good thing, right? 比如说，残障人士洗手间。Not when the sign says deformed man's toilet. <laughs> Can you translate that? Never fear. 被翻译成啊，畸形男人的厕所。<laughs> 这事儿我们都听说过啊。太丢人了。And the women's the news of this disgrace. He is embarrassed. But the women's restroom,、uh, wash after relief. 还有女厕里的女厕后请冲水的翻译。Slip and fall down carefully. That's good. We can just. I I could go on,、uh, but the point is. 它的重点是呢。Who cares about the money you spent and all the other stuff? What I would remember if I went there was the sign that said, "Don't forget to carry your thing." 啊啊，他说啊。他只会记得指示牌上写着，别忘了带走你的老二。哎，够了啊 ！Mr. Tai, the money you spend now is a small price to avoid big embarrassment later. 卡凡诺先生衷心的建议您，今天花一点小钱，避免将来面子上更大的损失。哎，你们提的问题啊，很重要，就是作为一个真正的国际艺术中心，其指示牌的重要性吧。小钱。呃、嗯。The, the minister he wants to build an international cultural center. Truly. Ah, I sincerely hope Guangdong can show the 
传统艺术。He enjoys art which is old and unpopular. 嘿，比如说我们这个京剧团呐、啊，他们去年在这儿演的《虹桥赠珠》。哎，我喜欢那戏。Uh, our local opera performs. Uh, oh. 抱歉，那个红红红什么？红桥赠珠。哎，你连这都没听说过，听说现在的年轻人。They are discussing my ignorance. <笑>对，那段唱唱的好极了，就是就是，凌波仙子爱上白素贞的那段唱，哎、对对对对怎么唱来着？多谢仙子光华悠扬。只是牌一定要做的对啊！那么我们的国际友人呐、啊，就能够专心欣赏我们的京剧精品吗 ？The science must be right, or the performance will be even worse. Great. <笑> so can we talk about a deal? 呃、uh, ，卡梅诺先生建议我们继续讨论啊，增加大家互相之间的理解。好。Good. 我还想补充几点。Uh, the vice minister would also like to speak. 关于浦东大剧院的事情，我们早就知道了。She is very familiar with the Shanghai disaster. 那些小错误<笑>早已经纠正过来了。They have fixed the signs now. 外国人想要嘲笑我们很容易。副局长，我们并不是想要。可是西方人用中文，结果又如何呢 ？Sometimes Westerners try to use Chinese too. 汉山上面写着“我变态”。那不过是些无知的游客吧？看这个，一本权威性学术期刊。马克思普朗克研究所。The vice minister is drawing a comparison. 他们决定在期刊封面刊登经典中国诗句。啊 ，Between the journal and the w h i t 他们选上。待你发觉惹火少妇，不可思议。What's that? 淫荡地窖，风情万转。多金男人欢迎探访，壮阳春药圆圆送上。壮阳春药，他们选了上海夜总会的广告词。上海 sex club。抱歉，别费劲了。我认为，我们不需要急于请外国人来解决我们国家的问题。嗯 ，foreigners are not answers to China's problem. Um, I think we've gotten off track here. If I in any way offended the minister, 请让我们解释一下刚刚这个误会。好了啊，刚才这事儿我来处理啊。The minister will now share his view. 啊，我认为啊，在中国啊。喂，哎，不不不，来我们贵阳吧。哎呀，我们贵阳市不大，对对对，只有四百万人口。哎，但是我们这些少数民族，侗族啊、苗族啊，他们会很高兴的为你唱歌，为你倒酒啊。哎呀呀，很吸引是吧？好好，那说定了啊，那咱们改天谈。哎呀，啊啊啊，继续继续啊 ，continue。Nate, uh, the minister was about to tell us. 这个对于你刚刚的言论啊。我其实并没有很生气嘛。He is not offended by your talk. 副局长有些时候就是感情用事嘛。呃、uh, ，The vice madam, she is a woman. She is emotional. <笑>啊，对于你这种坦率的美国风格，我表示很欣赏。He enjoys your rudeness. <笑> Thank you. We only want to help. Foreigner always saying to help. That's what foreigners. 现在呢，我要跟副局长去参加一个会议。啊、uh, ，They must now continue to their next meeting. 我会再跟你讨论计划书的细节。They will discuss your proposal further. 哈巴诺先生还会在贵阳多留几周。哎，要不我们晚饭再说。Dinner. Oh, I would love that. 好，答应。谢谢。Thank you. No, thank you. 谢谢。我公司会再约时间给你打电话。你公司？呃呃，我会再给您约时间。啊。Uh, Vice Minister, I hope you'll come to dinner too. Really? I will show you to the way out. 哎呀，我认为啊，还挺顺利的。你觉得呢？我认为我们该找个新的口译员。
啊、嗯，当然，卡凡诺先生很高兴有机会可以。No, only and I. Oh, alone? Huh? Yes, alone. Uh, only. Other than that. 那位钱小姐呢？哦，钱小姐，你是说、呃、那个口译员？我们把她送去再教育了。什么？<笑>开玩笑，那是开玩笑。<笑> so， 当然。Better no have the translators a human。嗯。那那那蔡局长。不来了。OK。The minister is not coming today. Apologize, but 他突然有公务要处理。I see. So. Well, there. You now can go. It's okay. Oh, well, it's it's just you've never. I think it's great that the vice minister and I sit down together. Just the two of us straighten this all out. Oh right. Um. So I'll I'll just leave. Go on. We'll be fine. Okay. I'll, I'll be next door at the uh, karaoke bar. Uh, if you need anything or anything changes at all, Go on. Just, I'll be on my mobile. Just... <laughs> Mother hen, cluck, cluck. Mother hen, cluck, cluck, cluck. Four, seven, 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 that you speak English. Ah, I um, live outside China for uh, six years. Uh, uh, no, no, months. Six months. Therefore, study. Ah, you lived abroad. Study the English. In the States? Huh? You lived abroad in the States. In... Ah, no, no, no. So, well, you seem to know something about Cleveland. So, where? Where did you live? Here, Guiyang. <laughs> no, I mean before, when you lived abroad. Ah, oh, Sri Lanka. <laughs> Sri Lanka. For an exchange student. Uh, uh, hey, um, well, uh, Vice Minister, I appreciate the opportunity to sit down one-on-one -on -one and clear up any misunderstandings. Too fast speed. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... Only two, so therefore, talking not so much necessary? <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Also, very, um... Sleepy. Sleepy? Sleeping? Sleeper? You're sleeping? You sleepy. I'm sleepy. It was so fast the word sleepy. Uh, we should order food before talking business, don't you think? Order food? I order the pass. You already ordered? Yes. Uh, uh, good. No need for me to... Huang Zhang. Huang Zhang. <laughs> I'm trying. Zhen <laughs> Um, Vice Minister, the fact that Minister Tai sent you here instead of coming himself, I, I gotta say, I, I read something into that. Something not so good, but I believe that we can work past that. Right? Okay, wow. Um, Minister Tai. 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 Uh, he seems friendly toward my proposal. Proposal? My deal. For my company to make the English signs? Ah, uh, uh, yes. For the cultural center? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Yes. Ah, Tai? Yes. He likes? No. <laughs> Tai does not like my deal? Yes. It's <laughs> like that. Okay, I have a very strong feeling what you just said to me is really important, so can you please repeat in English? Such sleepy. You believe in Tai. Your deal has friendly. No, Tai disassemble. Disassemble? Disassembling his line? Yes, lie. But cannot tell the teacher. Who's the teacher? English the teacher. Teacher Peter. Peter, my consultant. Teacher Peter. 
<laughs> he used to be a teacher, but now he's a consultant. Consultant, consultant. Everyone name, but nothing doing. He's not a consultant. <laughs> nothing. But, but for what reason? You cannot say. Okay. Use at your own risk. <laughs> English writing firm. Currently, enter through the back door. Cai wife sister. Open door. So will not close. Now you know. <laughs> I understand that what you're telling me is a huge use at your own risk, yes. but use at your own risk. I don't. Okay, okay. English writing firm. Oh, the company uh, making the English signs. In present? Um, presently. Enter through the back door of Minister Wife Sister. Okay, okay. Give me a chance here. Uh, sister, Ty's wife, sister, sister-in-law. Yes. Is presently hired to make the signs. Yes, through the back door. Okay, that's the part that keeps tripping me up. But <laughs> okay, then why does Ty? Why Ty pretend? Pretend. Why is I pretend he liked my deal? Ah, oh, good. Because English teacher. Uh, Peter. Also open back door. <laughs> <laughs> For university ba, Tyson. This is very obvious. What is Tyson? Son, son, like like daughter, but son. Oh, Ty's son. In university ba. Ty has a ba. son. Okay. Oh, so Peter got Tyson to some university for a bath? No, bath is a city in England. Oh, bath is a city. With university. Peter got Tyson into a university in England. Through the back door. <laughs> oh, Peter owes, Ty owes Peter a favor, but Ty cannot give Peter's client the contract because he's opened the back door. Yes. <laughs> For his wife, sister. Sister-in-law. I got it. High five. I got it. <laughs> oh, that, that's exhausting. I am sleeping with you. <laughs> Sleepy? Sleeping? Sleeper? In talking such manner. <sighs> you mean it's tiring to... To talk like this, it's, it's tiring. Yes, okay. we sleep together. <laughs> That's not what you mean. Unless... <laughs> um, okay, so you're telling me that um, Ty is against me because Peter goes through Ty's back door? No, Ty goes through Peter's back door. Right, right. Um, so... Am, am I just screwed? <laughs> oh, that? That, you know, you know, screwed? All persons know screwed. <laughs> well, am I screwed? <laughs> okay, stop that. Because when you break into Chinese, you know I get completely. Tai sent me see you, telling no deal. Go away. Tai sent you to tell me no deal. What? I'm thinking, good, your deal. So, instead you're going to help me? Mm -hmm. Thank you, I thank you very much. But exclusively. Oh, I understand, this is now, all a secret. mobile. Oh, call Peter? English teacher, yes. Telling him, I say to you, no deal. Then, hooray? Hooray! But the, the food hasn't arrived yet. Oh, Food. I know order. 
Mishi, why, uh, why are you helping me? Why? Use at your own risk. I, um, I saw her leaving. Don't worry, she didn't see me. Um, um, I'm not worried. I think it went, uh, fine. Oh, great. Um, what did she say? Well, it was a little difficult to understand. Oh, okay. so, uh, what did you manage to grasp? I, I think she was trying to tell me, um, why don't you tell me? Excuse me? Uh, you're the consultant. Uh, okay. You um, know the lay of the land here. Okay. So just give it a guess. Okay. Well, my guess is that... Miss C was trying to convince you surreptitiously that your proposal has been rejected. Wow. Am I somewhere in the ballpark? That's amazing. How did you... Well, it was pretty clear in the room. Now, <coughs> Minister Tai was totally supportive of the idea. Miss C was dead set against it. And... Yeah, that seemed pretty clear. And Miss C couldn't openly oppose him. So if she tells you that your proposal has been rejected, and you go home, suddenly no one has to deal with the inconvenient American. Miss She told me something. Uh, huh. Yeah, about your particular relationship with uh, Tai? Uh, that Tai owes me a favor? Yeah. That's right, because I ran for his son to get into Bath University when I were taught for a while. You taught? Yes, when I was fresh out of the Before university. you became... A consultant. A China consultant? Yeah, right. Did she tell you anything else about me? <laughs> like what? Anything at all. I was, just, I was just wondering. You know, I don't understand why you couldn't have told me this before. Yes, you have every right. All I'm right saying to is, as partners, we've got to be honest with each other. Absolutely. I, I, you know, uh, it, if we're going to work together, we've got to be open. True. True. We may be dealing with the Chinese, but we can still be Westerners. Yeah. Capiche? Capiche. Absolutely. So, here's the part I don't understand. Why is she taking all this risk, going behind her superior, to block the awarding of a single contract to a foreign firm? That is a good question. I wonder about her husband. Her... She's married. She's married. Um, her husband is a judge. Of course she's married. Um, of a third or a second in intermediate court. These sort of things in China, once you get to the bottom, often involve some sort of family relationship. For all we, all we know right now, you could be under the, under the payroll of another firm. Being done against her contract. Yeah, that's good. It, it's something like that. Uh, yeah, do some uh, research on her husband. <coughs> I'll, good. I'll first report this to Mr. Tai. It's truly a foolhardy move on her part. I don't understand. Why has she not realized that you would report all of these to me? <laughs> uh, maybe she thought I would get so discouraged that I'd just give up. Or I decided it was all too hard because <coughs> I don't have a clue what's really going on here. And then my consultant um, <laughs> couldn't do a thing for me because despite who's ever back door he kicked open at his old boys club, um, it hadn't given him any real power. And he couldn't get the job done, couldn't close the deal. Maybe that's what she figured I'd think. Well, if so, then she's wrong. She's only ties underling, and this deal is going to happen, I promise. Good, because I don't mind telling you, this Guanxi is pretty damn confusing.李德老师最近不断在给我打电话<笑> 你比我强硬吗
在这个圈子，就属他疑心最大了。您对我老公一无所知，他对他人很正直，对我对儿子一直都很好。你不跟我说算了，不过啊，我还是劝你找个什么人说一说。你必须自己拒绝彼得。我还有更重要的事情要处理。今天早上省委书记还给我打电话。问我如何吸引更多国外游客？你说，那就搞些计划，让书记高兴高兴，安排一些中国杂技团来表演一下。哎、我最讨厌就是那个中国杂技。哎，你说一个人啊，练几十年，就为了在鼻子上面顶住一把椅子，不让他掉下来。哎，我真想走过去跟他说：“哥们儿，你这辈子真白活了。<笑>”局长，做人要与时俱进。那也不等于什么都向前看吧。至少啊，有些时候我挺怀念当时部队生活的，是吗？您怀念文化大革命？至少那个年代嘛，比较单纯。好了，你去解决彼得的工作，那是你的任务。好吧，领导同志。I again telling you go yet again. You stay. So I should stay. Yes, for Minister Tsai himself say no deal. Then no deal. No, the deal. Hooray! I don't think I'm quite following this. You not telling the teacher, correct? Peter, that you're helping me now. Good. I hear now. I not tell nobody. I hear now, not Tsai, not husband. Your husband? Yes, I heard that you were married. Uh, what does your husband do? He is. Perfect. That's great. Um, what I meant. <laughs> Excuse me. Zi我中心，很麻烦. Your I don't. I know. 有意思. <laughs> what I meant was, what does your husband do for work? Ah. What is his? He is judge. Strange to be. A yes, judge. strange. I. In a country with no real judicial system. Okay, what are you trying to tell me? You speak Chinese, and it's important. I can see that in your face. So, what do you want to say? My husband sometimes not so perfect. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? I, my wife, if I started to tell you, my wife and I really not perfect. My husband only thinking himself, so therefore no understanding. And he doesn't know you're here? He not ask. The two of you don't talk so much? No talking? It's better, no. Husband, wife, not so much. Wow. Talk. That isn't really a philosophy back home. Making a long marriage. You, your wife, talk? Uh, uh, do we? Uh, not since I came over here to China, day is night and night is day. Yes, husband, wife, day, night. We agree. <laughs> I, I guess, but you're okay with that? You want that? So, now you wait. Her time himself saying no deal. Then no deal. Or hooray. Full marks. Machine, why are you helping me? I mean, why go behind your boss's back and your husband's back if I'm understanding this correctly? For what? You know, a foreigner? Some guy you just met? Now, are perfectly translated signs really that important to you that you would risk so much? Well, I'm glad I got that off my chest, and I don't expect you to understand. Why? Because you are good. I'm good. You don't even know me. 可信,可靠, honest, good man. Wow. Um, you have no idea how long it's been since someone, you know, said, thought that your face, my face, good face. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing all this because my face? 就像你人生总是一帆风顺，所以你能够保持纯真。Honest. Well, I mean, I am. 
I, at least I try, you know, over here where there's so much secrecy. I try to be sincere, you know? I try to tell the truth. Yes. I like. You know, I come all the way across and I feel so lost. And then you appear and you tell me that I'm good. That's. Your face is beautiful. My no nose too. Uh, oh come on, look at you. You're, you're perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and Jinda. Not just on the outside, but I think that your heart is. My heart. On the inside too. You see my I'm sorry. That was that was completely.那时候所有还跟家里人住的年轻男女晚上都到公园去我看不见他的脸甚至没有发出任何声音可是在脱下我衬衣的时候他的手指一直在发抖在许多人心目中他优秀上进可是跟我在公园的时候Well, the first time we met, I, I thought uh, I thought you despised me. Yes. <laughs> Despise, hate me. Did you? <laughs> Why do you insist on speaking Chinese when you know I, I can't understand a word? Why you speak Chinese? I am Chinese. A good point. <laughs> Well, understand this. You are so beautiful. Ah, uh, her. <laughs> when we met, did you ever dream that we'd end up? I remember this moment. He saw you in my eyes. You found the perfect one. Well, I sure did. And then when I found out that you were married, <laughs> I figured any husband of yours must be crazy in love with you. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Let's not talk about your husband. My husband I love. You don't love your husband? Once, long time. But no, today, only husband. Oh, but then why don't you you know, break up, you know, escape your marriage. Yes, escape, but not so easy. You mean it's hard to... Not so easy. <laughs> I, you know, I've thought about that, leaving my... I'll be honest, I think about it all the time. But I'm not like you. I've never... You're not afraid to just come out and say it. It's crazy. I feel like you know me. Talk more. Like you can somehow, you know, see into my heart and and see the me that I want to be. 
that I can be? You know, that good, honest man. Honest man. Wow, 你别老实，你怎么会有这个电话？啊，有，当然有。哎呀，我正准备给你回电吗？那咱们明天中午见。啊，好，那明天见。事实上，我正承受着沉重的压力。The minister is underneath you. <笑>省委书记有他自己的意向，我又能做什么呢？He <笑> also underneath his party secretary. 我束手无策了。He is in bondage. <笑> 局长，很高兴今天接见我们。那您的意思是？李德老师啊，这份计划书我有批。No, he cannot fulfill your desires. 什么？抱歉。Um. <笑> What's going on here? We are not talking about it. I will fulfill my promise. Okay. Next time. Next time. Let me give it to you next time. But you have agreed to me. I cannot give the contract to Kavando. Sorry. Please understand. What did he say? Mr. Peter Black is the minister of 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 the Minister well, I'm disappointed to hear that. Uh, who knows? Maybe we can uh, work on something else together. Peter? Leaving haste. <laughs> Peter, um, it's uh, been a pleasure, Vice Minister. Really. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Peter, let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't understand. You told me that you told me that I could help your son, you can do anything. Is that in a fair situation? You think that's fair? You're going to take your son to Boston University. That's a child's education. You should know. I My father is a big party official. Go on. Uh, this is not how people behave in China. You are a You are a foreigner. 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 You are a Minister, take me going lunch. Minister and I are having a misunderstanding, which I fully intend to resolve. Yes, but Teacher Peter, he acts not in accordance. 
Yeah, I didn't catch quite all that, but wow. Problem, credible is now doubt. Credibility? Of my company? Yes. In doubt? No, yes. Why, Ty has seen our website, right? I mean, in anticipation of this contract, we just added a banner in Chinese. No, not <laughs> website. Website is Chinese. With our phone number, so now if anybody wants to reach us over here, they can just dial headquarters uh, in Cleveland directly. <laughs> Translation very bad. Really? We had a grad student from Case Western. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. But cannot have no credible with Peter. Because he insulted the minister? Back door all closed, so therefore you also must close. I've got to get rid of Peter. Cut him. And then Ty will give me the Forget deal. Forget Ty. Peter's my problem? Yes. Not Ty? Yes. Ty is not my problem? Yes, now you understand? I think. <laughs> Good. So, no more the <laughs> business. Oh. <laughs> Look, Western luxury item. Mr. Bubble. I mean, we use this over home, but mostly my so kids. So, go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 打电话, 我们快捷自由投递, 真傻。Hey, Chinese person called Cleveland, you have someone answer can speak Chinese? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It's a real company. I cannot. It exists. Ringing to your... No, it, it, it just doesn't look China like... China number, US number, same, same. Where's company? I'm in Cleveland, like In I... your pet? Company in your pet? Well, like I said, family... Hello, room. pet? You make fast free delivery? It's true. Shit! It's like the pet shit! <laughs> Listen, company, shit! Will you just let me explain this? I thought we were one of them. you just calm down? That's not helping. We have so much Risking for you! Uh, let's at least stay in the same language. Same language? Same? Yeah, because I... Chinese! You speak Chinese! Well, that's... Oh. You come here, China. You speak Chinese. That's a solution, but an impossible one. So I'm a No, no, no. Look, look, um... Uh, I wish I could understand you, uh, but... I no, 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 come around, go around! They say that in Sri Lanka? <laughs> One day, China will be strong. No, 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 no. <laughs> One day? What are you talking about? You're, you're strong now. We're the ones who are weak. One day? No, 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 no. One day. China's strong. America, weak. What? Yes, yes. America, weak? And China strong. <laughs> is, is, is that a funny laugh or an evil laugh? <laughs> Listen, just don't leave me, okay? <laughs> can, I, can I take your coat? Just... Deal! No disaster! No, 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 it doesn't have to be. We, you know, we can do the job. We? Ohio signage. Okay, look, um, started by my great-grandfather. True, but... Now Cleveland economy very bad. Yes. Actually, it wasn't just the economy. It was stupid. It was stupid business decisions. Stupid? You? No, no, not me. I didn't make those decisions. Then who? My brother. He ran the company. He made the stupid decisions. Brother, hold the bag. No, but now I run the company, okay? Uh, brother gone. She gone? He, yes. And, and, and Ohio signage is Worker, poised. She also gone? Secretary, he also gone? Buildings, they also gone? For the, for the moment, yes. So, you run company. 
you run only you. Sorry, Daniel, this deal cannot. Look, I wasn't there. This cannot sell. No, no, no. Let me make this, let me make this. I was not at company during stupid business decision time. No? Then where? I was in Houston, Texas. Finance, banking. You're sure you're not right now. I mean, but I'm back now. And, and, and I know, I know how to run a business. No more stupid decisions. Come for me. Already running ground. Why you not return? Why? Your brother. Help her during stupid decision that, time. That's... Why? You cannot preserve her? Him! My brother is a him! <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you an idiot? No, 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 I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I didn't... Look, I'm broke. My family, no money. Okay, I'm sorry that I lied to you. I'm so sorry. But if, if I can just get this deal, you know, I can be a better man. You know, good man. American, like the children. Your company, picture only. You cannot even save the brother. Goodbye. No, look, you, you want to know why I couldn't save my brother? I almost went to jail. Yes, jail, that's another little detail I forgot to mention. <laughs> you ever hear of a company called Enron? <laughs> yeah, everyone's heard of Enron, even over here. Big scandal? Yeah, the biggest. You know, I wasn't the top dog, thank God. The prosecutors let me go, but I had to testify against my former bosses, my ex-friends. You know, that's why I couldn't go to Cleveland and save the company, because I was busy saving my own ass. Enron, you? Enron, me. Want to see? Wait. There I am in the fucking Houston Chronicle. I wore better suits back then, but you can still see me in the back. That you? Yep. Could you imagine? This would have gone over great, right? If I tried to convince the Chinese government to get into bed with an ex-Enron guy. You know, no one at home will touch me, but I figured if I went all the way across China, you know, steer clear of the big cities that maybe I could land a deal. You know, take the ruined shell of my family firm and land a deal and become someone new. You know, someplace far away where hardly anybody could understand me. You know, and if it had gone another way, I could have loved you. You, good man. <laughs> Honest man. What? Now. Is possible. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. This is Peter. I'm down here in your lobby. Listen, this is my third message. I still think we can salvage this. Ty's position in the party is pretty low, and the party secretary feels like he's been too slow in implementing market reform. This presents us with a plenty of opportunity. They're finding every reason to sack him. Oh. He is making the conclusion. Every now and then, mystery comes there. Peter, look, it's over between us. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, why couldn't you have just told me about this? You don't know what you're talking about. Just. Go. I'm your consultant. What about all those talk about honesty and all of that? I'll get off it. You're lecturing me about honesty? Mr. Consultant? Maybe on ancient Maine porcelains or Dixie shit calligraphy, but you don't know the first thing about doing business. Believe it or not, back home, we also have to please our bosses. And you know what that requires? Self-control. It, it means you don't blurt out to someone who can make or break you. You don't tell them what they're doing is stupid or illegal. You just go along with it, with it, everything you've got. And in China, I don't need a consultant who, in the middle of the big meeting, suddenly suffers a nervous breakdown and starts screaming 
that my client's only son is a fucking moron. You know what? I had better receive my commission. As a matter of fact, I think you owe me a substantial bonus for keeping my, for keeping my mouth shut. I don't care who you fucking tell. You don't care who you tell. If you tell the other people, you two are Wait here for car, Mr. Cavanaugh. 别想一走了之。彼得老师，我们之间没有什么不可告人的。你是说谎，就像这国家里面所有的谎言。Do my son a favor, I can give you anything。有中国特色的社会主义，那算什么？还有那最大的谎言，中国是社会主义国家，党是为人民服务，全是狗屁。你们这些干部都应该抓去坐牢。彼得老师，不要再说了。你滚！失陪了。Listen, <笑> <你管了。笑> I don't know what just happened there, but I don't think it went well for you. <笑> He's just a hotel manager. He's not going to tell anyone. What did you say? I wasn't too loud. Outside. What did you say? Stupid. People here have certain tolerance for unpinned foreigners. But will they hire one? I should never have tried to do this. Do what? To pass myself off as a consultant. Which I'm not. I'm sorry. You know, we all do what we have to. That's exactly it. Back in the old days, a foreigner who can speak both Mandarin and Chinese, the employers will fight to hire me. And the woman, you could just walk into any club and start ordering English, and, and then they'll point at you and giggle you, you are an ABC or something. Really? Because... I know I'm not special anymore. Nowadays, in major cities in China, there are foreigners everywhere speaking good Chinese, and they're Accountants, they're business analysts, they're architects. What am I? Peter, do you ever think maybe um, it's time for you to go home? Back to the States? For a year, yes, I was back in San Francisco. Beyond learning how to do the cooking and washing and cleaning and all of that, you just, you just have this immense <laughs> sense of loss. I would try to explain to people what I've learned over here. And then they would just give you this blank stare into your eyes as if you were speaking a foreign language or something. <clears throat> Carl? Peter, uh, I wish you well. Look, I know how it feels to twist yourself into a pretzel because you want to make a deal, but I've been thinking lately, you know, maybe I can be myself. <clears throat> be honest. You started thinking about that in China? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We're a family-run firm. Started in 1925. Uh, 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 是美国中西部一个城市 the magistrates knows all about the recent collapse of America. <laughs> Prosecutor Lee questions your company's qualification. Um, well, you know, I've recently assumed control of the <laughs> 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 Mm. Keep going. Yes, I recently assumed control of Ohio signage and now direct all its operations. 
。俄亥俄州招牌设计公司现在由卡凡诺先生控制。嗯。呃、uh, ，I'm sorry, Director, what? All our operations. Ah,、啊、thank you. 而他也是一个外科医生。不不，卡凡诺先生不是医生。对不起，他是个备受敬重的商人。现在公司由他管理，<笑>我们为什么要相信他 ？She questions your personal integrity. Um, I came to Ohio Signage、uh, after six years working in senior management at a company called Enron. Really? 翻译啊。啊、哦，卡凡诺先生曾经在安然担任高级行政。哎，是我们报纸头看见的安然吗？是，他就是策划那宗世界丑闻的首脑。你说他是大人物吗？哎，别别说，正忙着呢。你说他是？哎，快问他是大人物。啊啊、Are you a small fish or big one? Well, I was a salesman. I sold securities. 哦，他的工作是。贩卖安全的假象。他是高级销售员，曾经负责一百一十个亿美元的证券。啊、oh, ，She said that you sold eleven billion U.S. dollar stock. Well, not personally. Uh, uh Kenny Slay. <laughs> 你认识 Kenny Slay 吗 ？Ken? No, Kenny Slay. Do you know? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, we haven't spoken since everything fell apart. But. 他知道。他们以前是好朋友。那还有那个杰夫，杰夫什么来着？杰夫。Are you talking about Jeffrey Skilling? 啊，对对对对对。You're talking about. How do you know a Mr. Skilling Jeffrey? Why, sure, I know all of them. 他都知道。是不是还有那个叫什么安德鲁福什么来着？我告诉你，那小子可坏了。哦、oh, ，Do you know Naughty Andrew? <laughs> Fast now.、Uh, maybe the smartest guy I ever met. Very guarded. He could have been Chinese. 他说：“安德鲁先生像中国人一样聪明。”不不不不不，是不是还有？是不是还有一个中国人跟你们老混在一块？哎，对对对，那个来自南京的那个姓白。对白。我三姨说他认识那个人的五表哥，那个白罗龙。啊，对白罗龙。啊 ，Are you talking about Lu Long Pai？ 啊，对对对，那人是不是娶了一个跳脱衣舞的？<laughs> oh, Melanie. Yes, that's all true. Wow, that's true. That was quite a time. Kafano 先生全都知道，他果然是那场灾难的主要策划人。She said you made possible the entire scandal. Well, no, I didn't. Oh, he's very honest. He admitted it. He admitted it. One hundred and eighty billion dollars. 那是美国有史以来最严重的金融灾难。<咳>后来陆续有更多更严重的经济危机。She said your disaster now not so impressive. <笑> well, we were the first. 啊，安然可是第一个。啊，行行行行行。啊，是是是是我看呐，这事儿清楚了。从来没有这样一位国际知名的啊金融界人士来到我们贵阳做生意。The magistrates appreciate your high status.、Mm. Oh no no no! I'm just、uh, an American businessman hoping to bring high quality signage to your great city. He 客气的请求为贵阳做指示牌。好好好。而蔡局长竟然拒绝这项合作。嗯。一定有问题。She said Tsai now swims in hot water. 哎 ，come come. 啊，非常感谢今天你能能来和我们见面，非常感谢。Thank you, thank you very much. Ah,、uh, no, thank you. 谢谢。非常感谢。Thank you. 这就是 thank you. 这就是我所说的那种金融才俊嘛。Ah, you know the big crafts. 嗯 ，the oh, like in gambling. Yes, the big crafts. 嗯 ，so I'm a high roller. Like that's how you do business here. 嗯，啊，他他同意您的说法。啊，好好好好好。我来送卡凡诺先生。<笑>哎呀，有机会我得请这老外吃个饭。我也得去、嗯。你说他会不会认识雷曼兄弟的人啊？<笑>
会比剃着三寸金莲、亡婚哑嫁的姥姥活得更快乐吗 ？So, tell me again, just because clarity is, they will give me the deal? Yes. Oh God, I can just, I think I will. Let's go out. Oh, I'm not moving without the clothes. <laughs> You're absolutely right. This is what I need now. It's starting to happen, you know. Everything I said before. It's just, it's just so. I've never felt like this before, and 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 so the thing when I said I felt like this before, I felt like this before. The whole world is waiting for me to love. Let's go out and celebrate. You too. What? Let's go out and celebrate. You said I, didn't you? Yes, you. No, no, not me. I. 再往下点，你想说什么东西就是不要停下来。It means love, doesn't it? 爱，爱，爱 ，no， 爱，爱 ，is that right? Can you teach me something else? Yes. Sure. <laughs> um. Okay. Sure. I want to say. No, Chinese. Yes, it's sure. No, no. Wait. No, I. I want to say. No, 不是。Hold on, hold on. What I meant is, I want to say I love you. I love you. Wu Wu Hai Li. Is that right? Yes. Really? Right. Wait, no corrections. Tonal. That's a first. Okay. Wu Hai Li. I was thinking that I had to lie about my past, but you knew the whole time that I could tell the truth and that everything would be okay. That by telling the truth, I got the deal. I got my Guan Chi. You know, the whole time it was it was always you. Why now? No, Wu Hai Li. Wait, wait, what? No, I'm gonna get it right because because I only tell the truth now, even to my wife. You know. Wife. Oh, that got your attention. What saying? Your wife. Down in the lobby, when Peter caught us, suddenly hit me that I want to tell, I want to tell the truth, and I want the whole world to know that I'm going to start by telling my wife. Telling your wife the fucking? Wow, I didn't know that you knew that. <laughs> no. <word. laughs> Not the, no, telling my wife that I'm in love with you. Such thing you cannot. Why not? Your wife, wife. Um. Yeah, but I love you. It's not important. Not important. Tell the truth to wife. For why? Because I'm an honest man. Yes. A good man. Yes. And good honest men tell their wives the truth. No. No. <laughs> good honest men respecting the wife. And I respect my wife. Yes. By lying to her. Of course. <laughs> Is that what you do? You lie to your husband, or you respect your husband? Yes. By having sex with me. And do not tell. <laughs> I thought you wanted to escape your marriage. Yes, escape. Well, that's you. what I want too. But it's not. It's hard. It's not so easy here in China. Huh? Marriage hard to end here in China? No. Easy. You thought you said that end marriage easy, escape hard. I don't. The long marriage is like. Work, work, work. Then escape. No escape. Only work is on death. Marriage. Same. Only escape. But not so easy. Here in Guiyang, so much people. They know me. Wait, I'm an escape. Hmm. <laughs> That's all. So much escape. Uh, I'm like what? Uh, uh... A vacation from your real job? From the death? No, no, no. You said you don't love your husband. I husband? No. Well, I love you, and I think that you love me. Yes, very nice. Oh, it's more than just nice. 
It's what we're meant to do. You know, find the person we love and be together for the rest of our lives. I believe that I can last a lifetime. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? Also, Jesus Christ, you're believing? I, <laughs> So it doesn't matter to you? You want to stay married even though you and your husband know I? No. Ching what? Ching What does that mean? Ching is like comrade. Comrade, like Chairman Mao? No. <laughs> <laughs> then again, Ching Yi, righteous. So marriage is an act of righteousness? No, no. It's very subtle. Ching <laughs> Yi, committing. Commitment. Like to a contract. No, no, more feeling. I don't think there's a word in English. <laughs> Look, you believe that your marriage is a trap. Trap, you understand? Yes, marriage trap, same. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. It can be more. More? Yes. You know, very rare. Two people find each other. And from this, we build a life together. A new life, a good life. Now you understand? You wish we had to do Ruin everything! But you help me. I help you, yes. Wasn't it because you saw an honest man? Well, why? Why did you help me? You want it truth? You want it honest? I help you for Tai back door. Not this again. I, I, uh, market, market reform, slow, slow, yet Thai, protection by the mayor, cannot remove, but now Thai wife's sister. Sister in law. Against the end, wrong, yet still Thai say no. Corruption, therefore, removal. You did all this to get rid of Thai. Yes. You did all this to take Thai down. Why? Because you hate him? Or you want to become minister? I'm minister, no. Well then. Too much pressure, eh? Well then, what is it? Time removal, help who? You know, help who? Help the judge. Who's the judge? The judge, you see him in the courthouse. The conference room where we had our meeting today. Yes. Are you talking about the magistrate? The magistrate, translation very bad. He is judge. By removal time, market reform now go fast. Party secretary, very happy. Therefore, the judge, he gains the guanxi. So, this judge will be in for some kind of promotion? Yes, but promotion. I still don't. Who is he? Why go through all this trouble to help that? The judge is your husband. Yes. You did all this to help your husband? Yes. Including having sex with me? No. I will always pursue Luo Mandiko. English! I, perfection, cannot. Try, but cannot. So hard the attempting, but still. Home, family, silence, the death never ending, but still. So therefore cannot, but good, enough good to be wife, can. That word from before? Qing Yi. Qing Yi. Now, you understand? But wait, that, does that mean that you have to. Goodbye. Well, I don't understand. Why? We can still, you know. Face change. <laughs> Such. Sleepy. <laughs> listen, listen. I, I can be that. I can be the good man. Before, escape. Now, <coughs> I am sleeping with you. <laughs> <coughs>
，早上去过你们办公室，他们说在家里。今天早上市长办公室的人给我打电话，让我今天不要去上班了。是这样。在公安到达之前，你赶紧走吧，被他们发现不好。我是一个贪污官员，是我不能招待你，一会儿被带走，请让我保留一点尊严。局长，局长，我是来跟您道歉的，我没想到带着美国人去见你会给您带来这么多麻烦。至少去了监狱就不用再听我老婆唠叨了。你呢？你要回去教书了吗？是。话都传开了，说我是个不理智的人，但还好，大部分学生都没有跑掉。你看，我穿这身军装还挺合身的。彼得、啊，你是个好老师，好好的怎么不去教书，跑去做生意了？局长，您听说过马德森温斯顿博士吗？哦，那当然。他是研究《汉书》的世界权威啊，是个伟大的人。我是他学生。哦，那他年纪应该不小了吧？老爷子七十三岁，还住在北京。去年我去拜访过他，他一个人住在一个小公寓里面，等着什么人给他一份工作。自己也在纳闷，这大半辈子是不是白活了？局长，我不想成为他那样。彼得，你知道吗？万里长城是我们中国人的骄傲。虽然他没有达到防御外敌的使命，也就是当初建造他的坟，但为了建造里面的一砖一石，不知牺牲了多少万人的生命啊！其实他们的骨头就长埋在地下，成为长城的一部分。其实有时候我就在想啊，这可能就是你我之间的地。我们或许注定就将葬身在这大建筑里。不过有时候一想到这点，我就觉得你越来越像个真正的中国人啊！黄花牛。学生倒真会跑掉的，一会儿等他们把我带走，你再离开吧。情不已那就是一座新的文化中心，即将即将在我们贵阳建成。那么预计今年五月份举行开幕仪式。那么届时呢，会有闻名海外的中国杂技团来为大家奉上精彩的演出。我们贵阳正在大踏步的迈向新的时代。也是文化局的副局长。为了城市的进步，我们都做出了牺牲。现在，贵阳终于赶上新中国的脚步了。So then, that judge. Took me out to dinner and gave me my first contract for the cultural center. He soon went on to become mayor. Frankly, I got lucky. 
He recommended me for jobs in other provinces, and today, Ohio Signage operates in six Chinese cities. And we just received our first order for work in Shanghai. You know, I travel to China a lot now, sometimes with my wife and kids, who've gotten to love the place. When I'm over there, the mayor and I always have dinner. We become friends. And that's a relationship I can never afford to jeopardize. My Guanxi. To anyone considering working over there, I think it's important to enter the Chinese market with uh, realistic expectations. There may have been a time when they looked up to us, but that was long before I came onto the scene. Nowadays, if you want to be successful, you have to understand your place in their picture. Just be aware that you may not, and I can almost assure you that you will not, get everything you want. And that may just have to be enough. There are over 10,000 Chinese characters. At Ohio Signage, it's our job to make sure our translations are correct. Maybe one day, all the signs will be fixed. It's funny, I've sort of grown to love the mistakes. And right there, in black and white, you can see we, we don't understand each other too well. So for the foreseeable future, We'll all have to keep struggling with Chinglish. Peter, Peter, have now been here. 
Uh, yeah, just to be clear, I was born and raised in China. Um, this is my third month in America, and I, I was not born in San Francisco, which I found very interesting. It's like, me and myself is like the exact opposite of the role and play we play. And uh, yeah, this is quite some interesting thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is absolutely amazing. Why don't you stay after the talk and maybe we can talk a little bit more. Yes, thank you. More questions. Yes. But when he jumps into this country where, where collectivism is, is the 
the, the most important uh, notion over here. He has, still has this misunderstanding. And then the mentor basically has to explain to him everything that comes together is a collective effort. Like, you as an individual might stand up or might have the potential, but then the majority of the people still are not as successful as they wish to be. So you just have to, you know, um, contribute to this process and admit that we're, I don't know, maybe fighting for a greater, a greater thing or a higher cost, but then at the end of the day, you have to realize you just wind up in pain. Also, um, we were is just one of the few things that general in our audience is know about China. So that was what just goes with it. Okay, and then, well, see, this classroom makes me very well aware of the part where I think see it or something for director and it's such a different layer for my people, right? Because honestly speaking, the scene is hard. It's about a guy in his 40s losing his job, going to jail. And our actors, they're recently graduated. And it did take us a process, and I agree with them so much about like achieving that point of heart breaking because it's hard. Like as Peter said, we were talking about so much about how we America, and especially for our generation, once we come from school, all we learn is this is about you, this is your dream, and you will achieve something wonderful in the future. But the bloody reality is sometimes it's not about you, and you won't get everything you want. But come on, we're young, and we're dreaming about the future, and we don't like to think about that. So yeah, I sort of like push them all the time in the rehearsal process, and I really apologize for that. But like we have to think together, and sometimes I even have to think them, think with them together about how sometimes we might just not get what we want all the time. And what's harder than losing what you want is accepting something that's existing and it's bigger than you are, it's bigger than your dream, and it's bigger than your goal. And yeah, but I guess they did the one who job, so audience can feel that sense of like depressing, heartbreaking moment. Yeah. Well, 
were like, oh, actually, you know what? If you really wish me to do an American accent, I can do it. But then, like, you American learn English from the Englishman. We Indian people, like, we learned that from the Englishman too. So what's the difference between American accent and Indian accent? Can you tell me, like, why one is the other? And I was like, that's really interesting. I never thought of that way. And I don't know which one is correct or not. And I don't think this play is telling you which one is correct or not. But we're just throwing a question out there, and we can all think about it. Yeah. Kind of going off of that, um, for me personally, like if you're here in the States, I'm born in Shenzhen, China, and I'm an acting major for the past five years. And so in acting school, they do want you to have perfect pronunciation for everything. That goes for both international students and American students, so that when you do Shakespeare, you don't sound like someone who's, you know, just off the street. And that was such a big struggle for me at first, and my theater director in high school would lovingly tell me, he's a great guy, but he's just very correct. He would be like, yes, and now try to sound like he didn't just get caught and get off from a boat from Shanghai. And I was like, damn. So it was just a very long process of, you know, learning how to talk like not someone else, but in a different way so that I could fit into a certain thing that I have to to be able to do what I want, but also at the same time, what is something that I can figure out. And I think I'm still in the process of it, but yeah, it's it's a very interesting thing. And getting to do this script, it's a very refreshing thing for me to, to perform in Chinese and Chinglish, and I love the opportunity. And I think it's, at first I was like, yeah, I can just throw away all of that voice and speech stuff that give me a lot of headache. But then at the same time, I do realize when I speak Chinese, I sound really casual. I sound like a 15 year old talking to my mom. So that's also, a, that also took some adjustments. Well, I have to say that Anne is amazing. Throughout the, throughout the recursive process and also, of course, on stage. But one thing so interesting between us is I have to push her so hard. Like, Anne, your English is too perfect. Give me something more. And then she'll be like, what? I was like, no, it's not more like Chinese. And she's like, I am Chinese. For a long time, I thought she was born in States because her English is so good. But I guess we all figure out how to do things. But yeah, follow that. I think what resonates me the most, resonates me the most, is with the teachers. Well, this is my eighth year in States. I also went to boarding school somewhere in Massachusetts, and then I'm here, and see here. But then, yeah, every time I go back to Shanghai, my parents were like, they naturally want to help us with some of like, it's either business or government part, like, you have to interact with people. And then I realized, I have no idea what's actually going on. Like, we actually have to look back to the relationships. I think maybe a lot of us don't have that problem because we're so used to the communication method here, we're so used to being interact. But once we go back, like, are you going back now? So, yeah. Like in America, for example, your 
professor told you, if you miss three classes, you will have <coughs> one third or one other grade on the wall. And your professor loves you so much. However, once you miss that third lecture, no matter what reason you're using, she will say, I'm really sorry, I understand. However, here we see the beat. <laughs> like bloody reality. But I think maybe that's one of the things that is most different about like Chinese and American British. Okay. 
you were asking about sort of Steve's relationship with her husband versus relationship with No, like, like I see this client, I see yeah. the performance as you as a Chinese woman, uh -huh. how you love your husband, like the way the Western the part wants to really understand why how how um like Oriental woman love <coughs> and yeah. how they express their love. And that's how I see this production. Um, and what's the director's original idea of the production work, how you guys put this work, like how you understand. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is for the game. Um, I think what I can do with my actors is we, of course, they will remember the lines I have to time. But for the performance, I think it's actors' choice. Like, I would like to ask them, like, what do you think about this? What do you think about this specific relationship? Like, before the show even starts, I give them the homework, but like forcing them to come up with like it, and they can't provide all. And that means they have to write down on paper what do you think their relationship to every single one of the other characters. And they receive so many interesting questions and like answers. And that's how they build up their relationships. And also, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, well, just about that. Um, I think it's very interesting because the character Steve feels like, I mean, she had, she and her husband, they started off being in love in like, you know, the romantic way and they had a great past and then it slowly evolved into the kind of marriage that she didn't want to be a part of, the time that she saw like the women before her had. And also like me personally as, you know, like a young Chinese girl, and, you know, like, I don't want that, and it's very interesting to look at that and see, for me to like investigate as an actress, like what might have made that happen, and also just like her turning to Daniel for kind of the romantic love that she probably misses a lot, and I just think, I don't, I don't know, I feel like it's such a, it's been a personal question about like the, how relationships involve. Um, I don't think it's totally like a Chinese thing, but you can see a lot more of that because, you know, there's the whole thing with Chi and stuff like that, and also just like, yeah, I think it's, there are so many facets to this, but I feel like they're, for she, like, there's a lot of work right in it. So do you think she used Daniel as a people to accept to help her with her husband? Well, you sound, it just sounds like, uh, but, <laughs> I mean, it is what she's missing in her life, and, you know, she did not sign up for a marriage without any sort of excitement or love or something to be any of that nice stuff that she wanted, and then that happened, and she's like, oh, okay.
I don't know about others, but full legs doesn't do that. We never do that, and, we, and we're not interested in doing it. We're really interested in what about like we have a hundred versions of this already this night. 